I know, you were expecting to see someone else, right? Well, welcome to City Winery. Uh, on behalf of our CEO and founder, Michael Dorf, we want to thank every one of you that is in this room for supporting live music and the arts. Definitely give yourselves a You gave me, oh, thought you gave me a mic that didn't have enough juice in it. Um, so, as you notice, it is a fully functioning winery. Definitely indulge in our tap wines. I'm also holding a collaboration with Mark Roberge and John Lampley. This is for their holiday show, uh, available through your server or in the lobby. Some labels are signed, and they're at $50 on sign 35. So I'm sure you want to take them home to your holiday parties or etc. So without uh, further delay, I want to bring out the most exciting group, Mark Robert, John Lampley, and band. Enjoy the show. But 
of all these friends and lovers, there is no one compares with you, and these memories lose their meaning when I think of love as something new. Oh, I know I'll never lose affection for people and things that went before. I know I'll often stop and think about them in my life. I love you more.
playing music together for a really long time. Uh, I've been absolutely, you know, <laughs> his biggest fan, being able to stand this close to him and watch him perform every night has been like a true honor for me. We all agree on that, right? This is somebody special. And, um, but now it's even becoming even more special for me. I mean, that last song you heard, John helped write that song. I said, hey, man, I need some help. So then we were like, hey, man, let's make more songs. Let's do it. And so, but we've been, we've been hacking away at this one for a long time. Long time. How long ago do you think we started this next song we're about to play? I mean, 2015, 2016? Yeah. And it's like, it started in one place and it's like taking a whole different turn. Can we, can we show you guys a little bit of that real quick tonight? Because there's a, there's a graveyard somewhere of demo ideas that are 86.5% done. 86.5. Yeah, for sure, because that's when the artist, the musician's like, I'm out. They tried everything, but you gotta push through, man. And we did that with this song. This song took a long time. Why don't we play for him how it started out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is 1.0. Six months ago when we had a meeting about this, 
I inflated that three months ago. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just be making up time shit. Like, it was like seven and a half years ago the first time that I did. No, buddy. Uh, I'm not going to continue that. Uh, thank y'all for being here. Sing along if you feel like it. Drink up, eat up. First set, y'all. You're catching the shit that will not uh, will work later. You know. <laughs> Thank you. 
something together and having that bond and that connection for the rest of our lives. And I knew when I met this dude that it was somebody special. Uh, it's somebody I had, had seen out there doing his thing and wanted to work with. And then we had a friend who was able to make that happen. So please welcome to the stage to perform a song we have written very recently that is a work in progress. And I want you to make a whole lot of noise for this dude. You know him from Bass and Bars. I want to hear you. Make a whole lot of noise for Mr. Brady Watt. Come on, man. Stick around, we'll do that shit too. Keep drinking. 
weekend, you're almost sober. Too tired to live a life of lonely. Queen of clubs, broke your heart, stole your card in the middle of the bar. Jack of diamonds, ace of spades, pop for another battle, let the memory fade. Who's gonna call you when you ain't heard nothing but the silence in the wind? Who's in the corner when your breath gets shorter and you're passing out again? You gotta hold. studio. We actually wrote that together with DJ Premier, and we're putting it together. It's going to be a killer song, and we wrote that. It's a friendship song, you know what I mean? That's what we were going for.
types of things, you know? That song, La Rande, the original, and then the follow-up, Revisited, was about this guy, Peter, that I knew, and he was in the neighborhood, and he was a huge fish fan, and he would be like, come to my house, and we'll sit in my fucking room, and we'll listen to fish for hours. And so I did that, and it was really fun, and I left his house, and on the way back, I was like, I'm going to write a song about my friend Peter because he was like a dreamy dude. He was out there, man, and I loved it. So that's how that song happened. His character, Peter from Love Day, was based on this dude. Pete, Pete Derry, he loved uh, fish, so I don't know. That's, you know. They come from all over the place. Um, and I love them too. My, the story was not about fish. I mean, they are awesome. It inspired this, the, the guy to inspire me to make the song that you love. <laughs> That's this one right here, it's called Shattered. This one goes out to my man Eric Nathan, John Feidelberg, wherever you are, I know you're here with him. Thank you boys for coming. In a way, I need a change from this burnt out scene. Another time, another town, another everything. It's always back to you I stumbled out in the night under pouring rain I made the blocks and thought there's more I need It's always back to you But I'm good without 
Yeah, I'm good without you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how many times can I break till I shatter? Oh, the line can define what I'm after. I always turn the car around. Give me a break. Let me make my own. Take so damn longer to get out on your street and the rain still falls. Yeah, push me back to you. But I'm good without you. Yeah, I'm good without you. Yeah. Let me 
me tell you how my day went. I cracked a couple eggs, but the omelet was funny. I made a couple jokes, but they weren't really funny. I hopped on my bike and the tire was flat. Damn. Said every day I'm stressing, I'm always feeling less than. It's like I'm striking out before they hand me the bat. Somebody tell me why, oh why? Can you tell me, tell me what's the secret? Why, oh why? Cause I really need to know. Why won't my flowers grow up? Why can't I catch some good luck? How come your grass is always greener? Da da da, my sun ain't never shining. I miss that silver lining. Somehow I need my grass just greener. But maybe I can change my view. Say you know I'm proud of you, but that's that work I need to do. So take my cup and fill it up until it looks half Tell her 
She would say, baby grandma understand that you really love that man, but you need to put your life in Jesus and my grandma. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my favorite verse of the song. There's one more verse. You all ready? You know I'm talking about my grandma's hands. She used to hand me a piece of candy. And I don't know about y'all, but the type of church that I grew up in, it would start at 9 a.m. and we wouldn't get done until 3. I would be bouncing around because I was a normal little boy, couldn't sit still. But then I'd look up at my grandma, and she would reach down in that bag. Did anybody's grandma have a bag? And she would pull that piece of candy. You know I'm talking about that Werther's original nose, those little caramel joints that were really, really good, and you could never eat just one. You know that I ain't talking about my grandma's hands. They pick me up each time I fail. You know I'm talking about my grandma's hands. Boy, they really came in handy. Cause she would say, Jonah, don't you whip that boy. She say, what you wanna spank him for? No apple core, but I don't have grandma anymore.
Tomorrow 
it's out of my hands. Yeah, when I pick you up now, when you're too damn tired to stand, I don't want to be like you, and you don't want to be like me. We just want to run together through the darkness we can
like hearing you sing. I like hearing oh, you sing. that's a good idea. All right, so we're gonna do this one that I was just talking about, and then your idea. Uh, that's a good one. You would think I paid you to be here to help me out of jams. I'm like one of those shitty superheroes who need someone to help me out of a jam all the time. And I'm like, front row mic. Pardon my language, young lady, I didn't see you there. <laughs> I don't want to fight no more. Only want to get to shore. Baby, don't slam that door tonight. Ran another off the tracks. Last time we can get back. We can say tomorrow if we try.
tune it. <laughs> Normally we got professional engineers who come out and help us with this shit, but you're seeing the real stuff tonight. And my young friend down here is picking up all kinds of vocabulary. <laughs> daughter today told me, she said, you're moody. <laughs> wow. I, I was talking, I was saying words, and I didn't know she was there. <laughs> All right, check it out, check it out, check it out. This one's a little hotter than the other one, so here we go. Yeah. I'm a stranger on the outside 
Jamie, where are you at? Josh, where are you at? There they are. Oh, another thing happening. <laughs> Y'all feel good? You feel good? Andrew, bring it up, man. Bring it up. Bring it on up. What you got? Y'all get y'all go ahead if you want to start. This needs a soundtrack. Yo, did you make this man? This is my car in high school, everybody, okay? Alright, 84 Honda Civic, three tinted windows. No bullshit. We ran out of tint. We got the back windshield, we got the two triangles, and that was it. I had a beanbag ashtray in the front. I thought it was cool as hell. My friends used to carve their name into the ceiling when they got in. I promise you that's true. Uh, I started in the morning, would fill the entire neighborhood with exhaust for 15 minutes. And they knew he's late for school again. And, uh, and man, this thing is classic, bro. This is going up in the studio. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's amazing.
You, you want to sing some more? I know you know this one. You're going to know it.
before they get a chance to hear them. Thank you so much, everybody.